All right, good evening and a very warm welcome to the Love Audio Production YouTube channel. My name is Paul Weber, and let me just fire a couple of things off. Hang on a second. Stay right there. Oh, hang on, it's snowing. Hang on, it's not... <laughs> That was not meant to happen. <laughs> uh, anyway, welcome along to the channel. I thought I'd start a little bit earlier because I've just got in from a meeting. Um, so my apologies for starting later than normally. It will be 8 o'clock, but it's kind of 10 to 9 uh, now. But if you're on board, then brilliant. Uh, I'm in the process of updating um, my Waves plugin software. I use Waves Ovox Stereo. And um, I noticed that it was, it was out of date, wasn't actually uh, installed. So I'm in the process of doing that. If I um, go to my desk, top <coughs> and uh, and show you this you, you can tell by the, um, the the icon there that it's not um, it's not valid or it's not set up so what I wanted to do was to kind of run through that with you uh, as we speak so going to the waves plugins done all of that so the updates are available and blah 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 I'm trying to update the software itself so uh, <laughs> give me two seconds and let me see if I can do that hang on a second because uh, the waves plugin is a separate uh, kind of thing that you have to launch uh, in order to get everything started so um, give me two seconds while I go to my downloads page and we should be able to find that. Um, what you can currently see on screen is the audio uh, production suite, uh, the DAW that I use, which is um, uh, PreSonus Studio One uh, version 6, and that's as part of their Sphere program. Um, but like I say, what I'm trying to do is to update the Waves plugins. So give me two seconds while I do a search for, uh, for, for that. Uh, Waves Central, which is fine. Open. Let's open the actual app itself. Uh, and hopefully that should show on screen. If it doesn't, then my apologies. Uh, not exactly what sure what you can see currently. And in fact, if I go to my my um, uh, let's have a look here, my YouTube channel. Let's have a look here. Uh, so you're now live on YouTube. Yes, thank you very much. Um, let's go to there. Oh, yeah, that's okay. So you can see the main screen. That's fine. Uh, Tech Troublemaker said, I had to go and look up what a radio sweeper was. <laughs> Thanks very much indeed, Roy. And it was a great pleasure to be on your show the other day, by the way. So thank you very much indeed for inviting me. Brilliant. Uh, so I don't know if you can see this. Uh, probably not. Let me just um, let me think about this. If I can do that, hopefully you can see what that is on screen right now. Uh, fingers crossed it should be okay. Uh, Rich Vibe says, hey, thank you very much for joining, Rich. Hope you're well. Um, yeah, it's currently not showing uh, what I can see on screen, which is interesting. Uh, but it says not activated. So let's activate this thing. Uh, install and activate. Right, okay. Uh, please close one of the following applications. Please close uh, Studio One and vMix. Ha! <laughs> no. Well, I can close Studio One. That's fine. I'll close the window there. No problem. Um, don't want to save it, so that's fine. Um, okay, I'm not going to click vMix because that's obviously what we're using to go live with, right? <laughs> so I'm not going to change that. Uh, please close the following applications vMix. No, I don't. I can't. <laughs> um, so, yeah, sorry. Um, install and activate. Can't do that. Um, it's asking me to close vMix. If I do that, guys, you're going to lose me. So I don't know how that's going to work. Hang on. Let me think about this. Uh... Can I reduce it? Can I close the window? If I close the window, or, oh no, it's going to stop all recordings and streaming before closing. That's no good, is it? Um, how long we got? We got about eight minutes. I'm going to close it, but I'll be right back. Stay there, guys. Frame rate is too high. <laughs> yeah, that's about right. Okay. Do we wait here? Um, do we wait here? That's a very good question, Rich. Rich, we should be back on by now. Fingers crossed, wind in the right direction. Let me know if um, if I'm coming through loud and clear now. I don't know. I don't know. Um, that's a very good question, though. Should we wait here? Hang on. <clears throat> Let's have a look here. What's going on? Uh, you're back, <laughs> says Rich. Thank you very much. Uh, I don't know if it's because on my phone it's not coming up as um, as uh, as being streaming. So hang on a second. Let's go. Um, let's go my channel like that, and then go. Let's create, and um, we should be back on. Fingers crossed. Wind in the right direction. We are no, back. We should be yeah. Back on. There we go. Okay, so we're back on now. Fantastic. Right, brilliant. Uh, so what I've done is. Um, I've installed it, which is fine. It's asking me to install an update, which I've done that anyway, and it's activated and installed. I don't know if you can see that on the screen, which you can, hopefully. Um, 
But every time I click the install and update, it's telling me to close Studio One and vMix. And I'm not going to do that because obviously we'll, we'll wreck the stream again. But um, if you've just joined us, welcome along to <laughs> uh, to uh, the Love Audio Production YouTube channel whilst we, um, we hack through some technical stuff. Uh, the reason for updating this is because I wanted to use... Um, uh, the uh, sat the Sonovox um, effects plugin from Waves. It's called Ovox Studio, and uh, you can probably see it on screen now. You won't be able to see it on screen as such. But if I go to edit, it says the device is not installed on your system, right? But I know for a fact that I have just installed it. So what I'm going to do, <laughs> uh, fingers crossed, and the wind in the right direction, is go here, which is Ovox. Now, if I open that right now, you can probably hear that it's giving you some kind of um, vocal effect. Let me just make sure that that's coming out on the stream. Vocal effect. Let me just make sure that that's coming out on the stream. No, it's not. Okay. That's fine. It's not coming out on the stream, but it's coming out through my headphones. So what I need to do is uh, to bring that up somewhere on the, um, the, the mixer in order for you to um, to be able to hear what that is processing. Because in my head, it's coming out with some kind of weird uh, vocal effect, and it's currently not getting through to yourself. So that's quite interesting. Okay, so what I need to do then in that case is go to settings. Let's have a look here. And that's not that. Let's close that. Um, uh, where are we? Here we go. Da -da -da. And let's go to. Let's have a look here. Let's da -da. Uh, what's it trying to do here? I don't know. Let's close that. I won't close it now. Will it? Go away. Go away. Close. Close. Thank you. Close. Um, yeah. So it's 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 working in my headphones, but it's not working to you guys yet. So I need to go and kind of go into some settings, but it won't let me know. It's uh, flashing this thing in the in the in the corner, and I can't get rid of that. How do I get rid of that? <clears throat> Hide. <laughs> okay, fine. Um, there it is. Okay, so this is the software itself. If I go to here, uh, let's have a look here. Da, 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 da. That's not it. Let's try something else. Hang on a second. Wovox. Um, full reset. Yeah, I get that. That's fine. But it's not coming through the audio processing on the desk. So that's my current issue. Uh, now, if I close... Um, uh, no, okay, so we'll close that. So this is just a standalone version now of the software itself, right? So uh, let's get rid of all of that. And now you can see on the screen, hopefully, that the, what the Ovox app is just a standalone um, vocal processing thing, okay? Now I can hear it in my headphones, but what I'm trying to do is to bring up, not that, because that's annoying. I don't know where that goes. Um, and every time I try and click on something, it won't let me close it. So that's weird. Uh, right click, close. Oh, it's gone there. Okay. Um, so <clears throat> if I go to, let's have a look here. Uh, I need to go to settings. Don't I? Let's have a look. What does this do? All oh, right. Okay. That opens up a bit more. That's fine. And this is the standalone version. Um, synth, 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 synth. Uh, let's go to here. Uh, no, that's fine. <clears throat> uh, uh, nothing's coming through so far. He made it back, says uh, says Tech Troublemaker, uh, a.k.a. Roy. I was on Roy's show the other day, and um, uh, I did a link for it. Uh, hopefully you saw that in the... Um, um, in the community tab on uh, my own uh, channel but of course it was on Roy's channel it was really good uh, really enjoyed it four or five of us five of us on the panel uh, which is really cool um, actually it's doing my head in so I'm going to do that so I can, I can hear myself speak properly because <laughs> it's in my headphone as a, as a kind of cyber robotic thing going on uh, what I'm trying to do guys is to configure it so it comes out through um, the channel so that you guys can hear it as well okay so uh give me two seconds hang on a second um i'm not gonna be able to do that am i okay let's close that okay so we're back to square one this is just um uh this is gonna be uh the studio one professional uh version six and this is on uh the sphere the presona sphere program that i use um so again while that launches give me two seconds and we'll, we'll fire that up the idea of tonight's um, stream, by the way, was to do some live um, 
uh, voiceovers for sweepers for for um, a Rich Vibes show, which he does on a mixed cloud on a Sunday uh, between seven and nine. Uh, wasn't doing one. Uh, the weekend just gone. I believe there was uh, some kind of issues, but that's fine. He's going to be doing one this coming Sunday, which happens to be my birthday, by the way. Uh, and I don't know where I'm going to be. So hopefully I better tune in at some point <laughs> to your show, Rich, uh, between seven and nine, hopefully before I get too drunk. Um, but uh, what I wanted to do was to open up this. Now, I'm, I was trying to find the, the last place we did some voiceovers for you as such, Rich. So what I need to do, I guess, is to search. Hang on a second. Uh, let's search for um, Rich and go like that. And nothing comes up. Of course it doesn't. <laughs> Why would it? <laughs> do you know what I mean? Let's go to projects and search for Rich. Hang on a second. Let's go to here and go to Rich. No, nothing. Why doesn't why doesn't why doesn't it come up? That's crazy. That's crazy talk. That should come up straight away. <laughs> um, now I don't want to create a new folder. Thank you. I want to find recent files. Um, so what I need to do is to find out where we did the last um, demonstration of um, jingles for yourself. Now, where did we do that? What do we call it? That's the point. So I've got so many files here. Uh, I need to find <laughs> uh, logo tutorial. Uh, don't think that was it. Maybe it was. I'm not quite sure. Let's take a look. Hang on. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, no. Roadcaster Pro. Uh, wedding. No. Radio X. No. TTK. I don't know. Tither Not Music. No. Da, 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 da. Uh, <clears throat> um, I honestly can't remember. I mean, I don't forget. I've updated it since we last did a session. So um, free Christmas jingles. Would it have been on that? Let's have a look. Let's open up that and see what happens. Uh, so this would have been um, the one we did for um, probably Ina Reese Hansen, to be honest with you. Let's have a listen to this. Hang on. Um... Merry Christmas! With Ina Reese Hansen, CS Live. Yeah, that was that was Reese's stuff. So um, or Ina's stuff, I should say. So that's not that. Um, let's close that particular file. Uh, and see if we can find yours. Why on earth can I not find yours? Uh, that's annoying. So let's go to songs. Um, that might be a bit easier. No, clearly not. Recent files. Um, I see. I thought it was on Sonovox demo because that's where we did a lot of kind of messing around. And I know that Ovox Stereo isn't on there. Yes, thank you very much indeed. It's it's obviously. I need, what I need to do is to import the the. Um, uh, the plugin onto this software so that it now uses that particular software. Do you know what I mean? So um, that's what I need to do uh, when I get some spare time. But what I'm thinking of is is what I did was this. And you can't hear that, can you? So let me just go to song, um, song setup, and let's go to options, uh, audio setup, um, processing, song setup. Yep, no, that's not it either. Options, audio device. Yeah, we've got that. Uh, that's fine. Uh, location, that's probably not the one I'm looking for, is it? Let's have a look here. Um, audio setup. Yep. Uh, da, 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 song setup. I thought it was that. Really not. Okay, cancel that. Uh, let's go to here. Song. Um, audio. Maybe not that. Song. Song setup. I'm sure that was it. Why can't I not set up the input and output here? Hang on a second. Uh, options. Audio device. General. Locations. Audio setup. Uh, external devices, no, because I've not got the keyboard plugged in, so that's irrelevant anyway. Song setup, right, come on, guys. Uh, audio in and out, right, there we go, fine, brilliant, thank goodness for that. Okay, so, um, inputs and outputs are absolutely fine. Desk mic, booth mic don't apply anymore, so that's irrelevant. Uh, but we've got outputs here, right, so this is what I need to do, is to make sure you guys can hear it. So, um, I'm going to go with um, music left and right, okay, and click apply. And then click OK. And then you should, fingers crossed, be able to hear this. Love Audio Production. Passionate about production. About. Okay, so I've just tested it on my phone, and I know that's coming through to you now. So that that particular that 
actually makes a lot of sense so that's fine what i can now do thank goodness for that is <clears throat> is to take out my voiceover from there <clears throat> excuse me and then what i need to do is to change this input for desk mic okay because obviously that's that's way back when i used to have the 32 channel uh, digital mixing desk okay so what i need to do is to go to go xlr left and right processed um one two three four five let's go with one two three four five that's gonna go echo there like that so i need to go mono there we go like that one two three four five brilliant um and then what i need to do is to um mute the audio track and then i need to call up um a text that rich sent me earlier on <laughs> um do you need to change imp do you need to change output pathway says rich yeah well done vibes v y b z correct yeah um, but I don't think that was the the file uh, type that we saved it under. But anyway, that's that's fine. What I'm going to do now is bring up your uh, your text, um, uh, Rich, which has of course got the um, uh, the vocals on it. So you're listening to Rich Vibes. Uh, so let's let's do that one first of all. Stand by, guys. Here we go. This is live. By the way, we're just creating a live radio sweeper for Rich Vibes Mixed Cloud. Um, uh, show that he does on Mixcloud on a Sunday night at uh, 7 p.m. till 9 p.m. GMT. And you'll find that on mixcloud.com forward slash rich vibes, V Y B Z or V Y B Z if you're in America. Here we go. Stand by. You're lit. Hang on. <laughs> Stupid fool. Press record, Paul. Does help. Okay, here we go. You're listening to Rich Vibes. Okay, so that's just a straightforward, you know, hyped up voiceover. What I'm going to do there is use the cutting tool, which is like a um, a splice thing. Back in the day, we used to use tape and, and all that kind of thing, a chinograph pencil, and we used to cut the tape and then join them back together again with tape and all that kind of stuff. Nowadays, what we do is in the box itself, and recording in the box is, is like using software. Recording out of the box is using outboard gear, just so that you know the difference between those two, okay? Uh, so what I'm going to do is cut there, at the beginning of that voiceover and then use the erase tool to just get rid of the front of that and then listen to the uh, end of it Ibs. Ibs. yeah see i Ibs. stop it there because i've got a little bit of a click on the on the the sibilance there so uh, let's have a listen to it again vibes yeah i'm gonna cut it just after the vibes bit there let's cut that and then use the erase tool again to get rid of the final bit there. And then, because <clears throat> it's got no processing on it whatsoever currently, so what I'm going to do is just drag that into um, a position that I think sounds good. So um, let's listen to the front of this. Uh, let's unmute it first. That does help, Paul. Yeah, so let's bring that in. So it cuts in just there. You're listening to Rich Vibes. And then bring this in as a final, as a stab. I'm going to bring it on a separate ch channel so I can mix that in as well. So this is how it sounds so far. You're listening to Rich Vibes. Yeah, so we don't need, actually don't actually need the end of that really, to be fair. We'll just cut it there and then move that out of the way. So it's, uh, so it's out of the way. So start, finish is going to go there. So we go to start there, right at the beginning of that uh, that jingle, and then the end. We need to bring that into about there, I would suggest, and then zoom in again. So this is this is how it looks and sounds so far. You're listening to Rich Vibes, right? So it wants to be fairly abrupt as a finish, uh, Rich. And if you're listening to this, and I know you are, um, <clears throat> this will be, you know, you'll have to kind of cut it straight into a piece of music and that kind of thing. So uh, just bear that in mind, okay, when you're mixing this, all right? Let's, um, let's rewind that slightly. So it's from here. You're listening to Rich Vibes. Okay, so it's going to be quite abrupt, and I'm, I'm, I'm not got any processing on the vocals yet, so um, just give me two seconds while I do that. Uh, so what I'm going to do is um, we're going to ignore the um, Ovox stereo thing, because that's not going to happen tonight. <laughs> I know for a fact that's not going to work. Uh, so let's leave that off. But what I want to do is put um, a little bit of... Um, uh, not compression, we've already got a compressor on there, so I'll show you how that works in a moment or two. But I wanted to kind of put on some kind of... Um, 
effect, like a bit of a bit crusher kind of thing. Uh, I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to drag the bit crusher in from the side panel here on the um, PreSonus Studio One Six. You've got a, a panel here with lots of different effects on it. So I'm going to drag the bit crusher um, effect in onto the channel itself, right? Uh, and then rewind that slightly so we can hear that. You're listening to Rich Vibes. So that gives it a kind of a more of a gritty edge to it. It's not just my voice on its own. It's got a bit of a, a bit of grit to it. And that's called a bit crusher. So and you can change the, the, the bit rate of that. So bit depth and down sample and color and clip and all that kind of stuff as well. So let's have a listen to that. And we can also change the gain as well. Uh, and then bring in more of a mix if we need to. It's on 75% currently. So let's have a listen to that again. You're listening to Rich Vibes. All right. So... That's okay currently. Let's have a listen to how we can change that. So it's on currently an 8-bit depth uh, um, a, a bit crusher. Let's listen to it again. You're listening to Rich Vibe. See, that's probably overkill. So let's bring that back to about 7. You're listening to Rich Vibes. All right, so that's pretty cool. Let's have a look at the down sample. You're listening to Rich Vibe. Yeah, I don't like that. Vibes. Yeah, that's more messy. So let's not get, let's not uh, tweak that one too much. You're listening to Rich Vibes. I want some kind of explosion thing at the, at the end as well, so you can trail it into a song. Let's have a listen to this again. You're listening to. No, it's too much color. To Rich Vibe. Yeah, it's a bit too much there. I'm just going to go with. You're listening to Rich Vibes. You're listening to Rich Vibes. Yeah, okay, that's cool. Um, let's have a listen to that once more. You're listening to Rich Vibes. Okay, that's cool. I'm going to leave that like it is, Rich, and then we're going to do uh, just something slightly different at the end. There. We're going to bring in some kind of a... Yeah, as it kind of fades away. So give me two seconds while I search for that. And then what's on the end of this? Yeah, we could actually reverse that, to be fair. So what I'm going to do is, quite cleverly, I don't know if you... Yeah, okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do is bring that down to a, a third channel and have that as the final bit. Uh, so it sounds like this so far from start. Here we go. You're listening to Rich Vibes. All right, so it'll end abruptly just there. So I'm going to cut that off literally as it finishes that sweep there, okay? And then it raise that last bit. So it starts and sounds like this. You're listening to Rich Vibes. Like that. Um, so that's, that sounds much better in my in my ears anyway. Hopefully that sounds better at your end. So um, let's go to this and we're going to bring up... Uh, let's give it two seconds. Yeah, that's quite loud, so that's okay. Going to bring up this one a little bit more volume. So... Vibes. And this final one as well where it sweeps in. You're listening to Rich Vibes. Like that. So it starts here. You're listening to Rich Vibes. Like that. Okay. So let's just mix that down and see how it sounds vocally and, and audibly and everything else. So we right click on that. Uh, we go to uh, Mix Down Selection. And there you have the final mix down track there on the the channel six there on the, on the mixer. You're listening to Rich Vibes. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is give you that as an export. So we go to Song, Export Mix Down. Um, we're going to call this um, Rich V Y B Z New uh, N E W underscore Jingle, or sweeper, as we should call it. <laughs> sweeper, there we go, okay. Uh, and today's date, which is the 16th of the 1st, 16.01.23, okay. Uh, so we're going to, I think I'm going to save it as a 44.1 uh, um, MP3 file, but I'm going to give you, instead of 192 kilobits, I'm going to give you 320. It's going to be a bigger file, but it'll be better quality, okay? I'm not going to have it in mono. You want that stereo effect with the with the um, the processing, and then I'm going to click OK. And what that does is then brings up a separate audio file. If I double-click on that... You're listening to Rich Vibes. Okay, so that's nice and short and sweet, and the volume's quite good as well. You're listening to Rich Vibes. 
There we go. So that's four seconds of jingle. That's all done and dusted. I'm just going to edit that because it does give us a zero one start at the beginning of that um, or the end of that um, title, I should say, like that. And then what I'm going to do is um, I'll drop that on an email to you very shortly, Rich. But that's your first one done. You're listening to Rich Vibes. There you go. OK, uh, so give us a thumbs up in the comments if you think that is good and cool and all that kind of jazz that goes with it. <laughs> and you'll notice, by the way, that when you're using <clears throat> when you're using um, Presona Studio One Six, like I'm doing here, when you mix down those uh, elements of the jingle that you've just done, including the voiceover artist and the, and the, the sweepers and all that kind of stuff and the, and the good stuff, what you'll see is that that grays itself out. And that's fine because what it does is mix it down to one channel. Now, what you need to do is if you want to continue mixing that, you need to circle and kind of lasso uh, those top bits like that, and then right click and unmute events, okay? Otherwise you won't be able to hear those again. I'm going to mute the mix down so we don't hear that as a confusion, but now what you get is... You're listening to Rich Vibes. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Really happy with that. Uh, so let's go back to Rich's script. Short Rich Vibes Stinger. Okay, so what we're going to do now is... Um, uh, so look here. Um, let's just solo this for a second. You're listening to Rich Vibes. Rich Vibes. Rich. The Rich. Yeah, you see, save me voicing it again. The Rich. Rich Vibes. I can actually cut it there. Okay, what I'm going to do is right click on that. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to paste it over here. Okay. Like so. And now I've got rich vibes on its own. Excuse me, on its own. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is, um, is kind of reduce that like that. Take off loop because that's going to be a pain in the neck otherwise. So what I've got here is rich vibes. That's fine. That's on its own. I'm going to keep the same processing as it's currently got on that channel. Uh, so this is like... Um, rich vibes. Rich vibes. Okay. Uh, but what I'm going to do is, is, is literally copy and paste again. So I'm going to copy that again. And I'm going to paste it... Into the track underneath. Right? Now that sounds ridiculous, I know. Hang on a second. Let's drag it down to another track. There we go. So it's the same thing. Yeah. Rich vibes. Okay. So I'm just going to move it slightly off. What I'm going to do is slightly off. Uh, if I zoom in, you'll see what I'm doing. So it's not exactly in the right same in the same position. So we're going to unsolo it. Oh, hang on. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Here we go. So this is, should be here. Rich. Come on. What's it doing? Why is it doing that? That's annoying. Uh, loop is active. I don't need to loop. enable play starter. No, thank you very much. Right, here we go. This is where it should be. Rich vibes. So what I've done is is just very slightly moved it so it's not lining up as it was before. Okay, so it gives you that kind of effect, that kind of doubling effect. Rich vibes like that. So I'm quite happy with rich vibes. And what I'm going to do on the mixer, uh, you'll notice on the mixer when I play it. Rich vibes. Those two tracks are playing. Now what I want to do is go slightly left and slightly right so that you get that in, in both ears. So have a listen again. Rich vibes. So you've got one in the left hand side, one in the right. And you can pan that left and right to your heart's content. But I'm, I'm quite happy with that left being 49%, right 62%. So you get this rich vibes. Okay. So underneath that, what we're going to do now is add a bit of kind of sexiness I suppose you could call it a bit of um, you know electronic sound effects and stuff like that so I'm going to go for um, importing a file uh, so now I need to go and look for <laughs> um, all the stuff all the kind of music bits and pieces that I've got so I'm going to go with a um, let's have a look here so let's go with uh, da, 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 da. Uh, effects. This should be FX. FX only. Here we go. Free SHT FX. You'll love this. Oh, hang on. Let's go over FX only. Let's yeah, so listen to this first. Uh, nope. That's all uh, ambient effects and stuff like that. We want to go with free FX. Free SHT FX. <laughs> um, and let's go with this. And let's have a listen to this. We can audition bits and pieces of this. So this is... And it's kind of... And this one here is 
stop play thank you why is it not playing stop thank you uh so radio play yeah let's, let's import that so we're going to import that and it's quite a long trailed off kind of thing but we're not going to use all of it obviously what we're going to do is uh we're going to uh bring it in slightly so it starts tuning before the rich vibes thing comes in so it's going to sound like rich vibes and then you can trail off and the E can then mix that into um, a song or whatever he wants to do. So I'm going to cut the end of that off so it doesn't trail off too long. Okay. And if I wanted to fade it, what I wanted to do is to let me just um, expand that that um, uh, that channel a little bit lo a, bit, a little bit wider. Sorry, so you can see what's going on. And then what I can do is if I want to fade it, I just grab the right hand corner of this particular wave file. All right. And then go like that. Hang on. Let's go like that, which puts a fade on it. So now what you hear is this. Rich vibes. And that fades off pretty naturally, although it does kind of end there. So I'm going to bring that in as well. So we're not losing too much of that effect. And then do that instead. So have a listen to this now instead. Rich vibes. Yeah, and that'll go straight into a record or whatever he wants to do, okay? Record, listen to me, show me age. <laughs> 57 on Sunday, guys. 57 on Sunday. Can you believe that? Shocking, I know. Um, so anyway, beside the point, let's uh, let's get this jingle mixed so we can send it across to Rich as well. Uh, so he's now got two in the bag. So that's one there and then one just at the beginning of that uh, audio effect. So we zoom in a bit further. Go to the start position of the jingle, which is there. Rich vibes. All right, and then it fades off and then he can bring that in or we can bring that into there. And that should be absolutely fine. So what we do is then is, is lasso the whole thing, as we did before. Right click, mix down selection, and there's our jingle right there. Rich vibes. All right, so nice and short and sweet. That's brilliant. That's exactly what we want. Uh, so then we go to song, export mix down. Um, I'm going to call this uh, new short sting. Or I'm going to call it a short sting and i'm going to put radio because then it sounds like the radio tuning thing that we talked about earlier on yeah uh and today's date is the 160123 and that's the kind of file format that i use so rich rich underscore vibes new short sting radio 160123 you can name it as he wants at the other end that's absolutely fine but that's how we're going to save it it's a 44.1 kilohertz uh, sample rate and a bit rate of 320 kilobits which gives him a higher quality mp3 than it would be if it's a 192 which is cd quality okay so we go to okay that then brings up the file we we edit that as because it always puts a zero one start on it and i don't know how to get around that but that's a, for a future episode no doubt <laughs> and then double click on that rich vibes all right so um that's pretty cool i like that that's good okay so we're good with that one uh so that's two in the bag let's have a look here in the mix with rich vibes yeah okay uh let, let, so so again like i said before what we want to do is unlasso oh, sorry lasso those top three things right click and then unmute and then you get those element those elements back into your mix again okay uh but we're going to do one from scratch here so we put the um, um one two three four five one two three four five okay so what now we're going to do uh let's go three two one in the mix with rich vibes just like that um so then we we go arrow and we we cut that bit off as well and then this is what you sound which is what it should sound like in the mix with rich vibes okay that's now still got that gritty kind of effect thing on it which i don't mind to be quite honest with you it sounds quite good and we're going to mix that with some various bits and pieces as well as i'll show you in a minute or two okay um but again we're going to right click and uh copy that and we're going to go to track three and paste it okay drag that down slightly off center from where we had it before don't forget so we get that kind of doubling effect in the mix with rich vibes like that and then what we do is, don't forget that's panned left and right as well uh, according to our mixer if you look at the mix obviously that pan left and right there uh, where my arrow is you can see that hopefully okay so that's pretty cool and and then what we do is to bring in some kind of um effects so now what i'm going to do is to go to song and import file and um let's have a look and listen to this okay that's not too bad 
that's irrelevant. That's if you're doing like a phone-in or something like that, perhaps. So here's a drone if you wanted a drone in behind it. Well, we don't want that. Uh, so let's go to let's go to a different library. Uh, infection. Let's have a look at this. Uh, disk three. Let's have a look. <laughs> Let's try this one. That's oh, too noisy. Good grief. Sorry if that's blasted you out, guys. No, that's quite short, so we don't want that either. Let's stop that. That's got a different library. It's got a train. Maybe infusion. Let's have a listen. Uh, rewind. Here we go. So this is going to be... Yeah, because that's more about mixing, so that's pretty cool. That makes sense. Let's just have a listen to the, these other few while we're here. No, definitely not. Uh, noise. No, again, that's not really suitable. That's definitely one we're going to use. And this is some static. No, uh, definitely the rewind one. So we click on rewind. We go on open and it's put it on top of the tracks. So we don't want that. We want it there. Uh, so this is how it's going to sound. So um, in the mix. And it's far too loud, so let's um, let's look at the volume of that and bring that right down. Might better do it in between the two, so in the mix, just there. So let's have a listen to this. So it'll be in the mix with rich vibes. Yeah. So it's 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 kind of back end of the um, of the sting, as it were. So in the mix with rich vibes. And uh, it's a little too loud, so what I'm going to do is bring that over a little bit and then bring the volume down to that. In the mix with rich vibes. So you still get the rich vibes thing come through. That's the main thing. So obviously the name of the, 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 the DJ needs to be, you know, uh, upfront and, and personal. So um, I'm going to bring the volume up of that slightly. So... In the mix with rich vibes. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so you've got the mix in the background there, but it's not... It, it's not offensive, it's not in the way, so I'm, I'm quite pleased with how that's kind of turned out. So let's get rid of that, and then listen to the whole thing. In the mix with rich vibes. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. Um, so again, we go to uh, our arrow tool, we bring the end into the end of the jingle, just about there. And then bring the start at the beginning of that, those two vocal bits, which is just there. In the mix with rich vibes. Yeah, cool. So I'm happy with that. Lasso the whole thing again, right click, mix down selection, clipping has occurred, yeah, blah, 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 2 dB over. <laughs> do, you want to just, do you want to delete the exported file? No. I want it to be nice and powerful. So here we go. In the mix with rich vibes. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. Uh, so that's cool. What we do now is highlight it, and then we go to song, export mix down. I'm going to call this um, in the mix R V new uh, and today's date 160123. Okay, uh, so then we click OK on that. We edit the title because obviously it puts a zero one start on the front of that, and I still need to find out how and why that does that but anyway it's fine so in the mix rv new sounds like in the mix with rich vibes yeah i'm happy with that too so that's a literally two or three seconds jingle uh which rich can sling in between two songs okay so you know that's given us three jingles so far again uh you need to highlight those three items right click and then unmute events otherwise you won't get those kind of elements back again okay uh which is pretty cool so now we've got one two three jingles there i'm going to save that currently and then just um do you want an older version yes 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 please thank you very much yes and that's all imported into the new thing so that's fine i can close that out now let's quit that let's get back to um to this one <laughs> let's go to uh this Fabulous. All right. Oh, hang on.
Okay, that wasn't meant to happen. But anyway, it's fine. We had it twice. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed that kind of um, a brief uh, overview of how we kind of put together a sweeper. A sweeper being a jingle. A sweeper being a sweep between two songs. Um, normally with a radio uh, DJ name in there or a station name. Uh, or um, let's have a look what else you can have. Um, uh, it's got effects and stuff with it. So it's a sweeper. It's a voiceover. It's not a jingle as a sung jingle like this. So that's a sung jingle. That's completely different. And of course, you know, we, we can play around with that till our, our heart's content. But those are $300 a piece uh, from America. So, <laughs> uh, but the difference is that we're creating some sound effects here with uh, with, the, with regards to Rich using that on his Mixcloud channel, which is fantastic. So that's a DJ shout, but it's got a, an effect at the beginning of it, which is pretty cool. Again, that was that was part of a package that I bought years and years ago. Um, but yeah, all good fun. So um, I hope this has been interesting for you. Do let us know in the comments. Uh, let's have a look at the comments. In fact, there's quite a few here. Um, uh, he made it back. Do you need to change up? Blah, 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 vibes. Mixcloud dot com forward slash rich vibes rich has put the uh, link in there as well to his channel which is brilliant great stuff paul says rich uh just joined hi from me and becky hello to uh, tom and becky thank you very much indeed all right pop pickers uh, says rich vibes sounding great paul would be better splitting with rich vibes after the sound effect uh, actually it sounds really cool thank you great work twice as good the second time <laughs> says fish stick usa brilliant <laughs> twice as good the second time uh, fish stick thank you very much for joining i uh, not seen you before so please do let us know who you are and where you're from but that's that's fantastic twice as good as the second time or twice as good the second time <laughs> um not entirely sure what you're referring to but do let us know in the in the chat won't you thank you very much and thanks for bearing with me by the way i i, I normally start at 8 p.m uh, gmt but um i was out late uh, working and i had a meeting to go to as well straight afterwards so uh, i was delayed in getting the, the stream started today but great to see you guys on board if you want some of these kind of sweeper things done for your own channel for your own uh you know show whatever you've got then please do drop me a line it's hello at loveaudio.co.uk that's hello at loveaudio.co.uk give us an email drop me a line with your lyrics on it and i'll send you um the details and and you know do some mixes for you and send some alternative versions for you as well okay if you want to check out my uh, website that you can find at loveaudio.co.uk head yourself over there you can always have a look around the channel there as well and um and various bits and pieces if you want merch by the way like mugs and t-shirts i've just actually ordered a t-shirt for um for somebody that's a follower of the channel so uh they weren't quite sure how to order it you just go to loveaudiosmerchstore.com click the size that you want click the color that you want and click on purchase and it's done it's pretty pretty cool about 19 dollars each uh so not too expensive as a t-shirt goes um and the mugs are slightly cheaper obviously but uh yeah get yourself over there to loveaudiosmerchstore.com and you'll find all that kind of jazz over there which is really cool um what else can I tell you? Well, that's pretty much it, to be fair. If you need anything else, by the way, give me a shout. As I say, um, you can always email the, the channel at hello at loveaudio.co.uk. Uh, but in the meantime, um, that kind of wraps things up. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care, guys. Bye for now. Bye.